So guys, today we are sort of in a new location and as you've probably already noticed, this shelf is empty. But don't worry, we will put perfumes on it or we'll discuss in this video. And those are gonna be all leathery fragrances that I own. And yes, you guessed it right. It's another episode from the Best of series, this time dedicated to the note of leather in the perfumery. And if it's your favorite one and you're looking for awesome new leathery perfumes, this is just the right video for you. But in case you're not very comfortable with leather, however you want some great leathery fragrances, I also have some recommendations for the leather beginners. So without further ado, since I have quite a lot of fragrances to share with you, let me get started. But of course, comment down below how you feel about leather in the perfumery and if you have any favorites, I would like to know more about them. And you please keep on watching to learn more about mine. Hi guys and welcome back. It's always a pleasure for me to film my best of episodes. Uh, this time it's a leather that we are gonna discuss. And first things first I want to mention is that a leather is not necessarily a single note that perfumers use. Instead, they would rather create a leather accord using different materials. And leather can be very different. Although it's a very popular note in the perfumery, it has always been an important note. It's a base note and it just adds a lot to the fragrance even if it's not dominant although that's not the case with today's fragrances because in all of them that's uh, the goal of this video to share with you leather dominant fragrances but all of them should be different so you can expect all different kinds of leathery fragrances it's just like a very useful note and on that note uh, did you guess my outfit? You know, because of it, I postponed this video. It should be released yesterday, but I've noticed that I have nothing leathery in my wardrobe. Can you believe that? I know, crazy. So I went and purchased something leathery. And in my opinion, immediately when you put on something leathery, it just looks and feels so sexy. And that's kind of the same impression I get from leathery fragrances. So. If you feel the same, let me know that I am not alone. But uh, long story short, let's get started with our leathery perfumes. And I want to begin with probably my number one favorite leather fragrance. And it's crazy to do that right in the beginning of this video. But I like that. I have to tell you that when I smelled Charade by Sarah Baker, I understood that I found my favorite leather fragrance and sometimes it's like that you smell a fragrance you don't really care and other time you smell something and it's love at first sniff and you want it and you will do everything to get it well charade as you've probably already understood because of its name was inspired by a beautiful movie with Cary grant and audrey hepburn i mean like my icon what do you want more which i've already seen maybe two times I I plan to re-watch it third time tonight because this, my dear friends, is all leather Laura can dream about. It's full-on intense leather. Yes, it smells animalic, but it has more to it. It's very, very elegant. I oh, have the dry down, which is just magical. It really calms down because in the opening is so whoa strong and it has this dirty tuberose in there that i love so much other great notes but it is all about the balance and the elegance and the provocation just watch that movie it just has this rush this excitement when you wear it and actually something to tell you about the quality of it it is a very strong perfume i don't really go out very often but last year i begged benny to go dancing and we went to the club with our friend's girlfriend and um, uh, Benny and I, we were dancing all night long and I could smell it on Benny, despite the fact we were really in a crowded place with so many people there. And even next morning I could smell it on his oh, clothing. So I love it. I highly recommend it to everyone. It's unisex and it's just so gorgeous. As I was getting ready for this video, I always put a lot of research into 
All of my videos about particular are the best of in which I mention a lot of different fragrances and I wear them constantly and Sherrod is something I kept on going to and it's just like so good. Pure elegance in a bottle, my top recommendation for everyone. It's that good. Alrighty, so uh, let me show you the fragrance that comes as one of the first ones on my mind when I talk about leather and it's called Dorophilia by Miguel Matos. Matos? Miguel, I'm so sorry, but this is such a beautiful, kind of like traditional, vintage smelling leathery fragrance with aldehydes that create that vintage vibe and also make this fragrance smell very cool, very sparkling and it's surely an animalic fragrance that was inspired by this addiction of touching skin and leather and I gotta be honest with you, as I was uh, in the shop yesterday, I smelled one of the most popular fragrances from Chanel's exclusive line, Cui de Versi, and I was like, oh, but it's like my Dorophilia, but so much softer. So this is elevated, it's traditional, and it is just so good and performs really well when it is cold outside. So it's my go-to leather in the winter time, and it is super strong and even Benny likes it, which is shocking to me, but I'm glad about that. So if you like vintage smelling perfumes, animalic scents, aldehydes and leather, that is a must try. Alright, let's stay in this area and from a cool leather to a warm one. I want to present you Un Air d'Apogee by the French brand Maison Violet and honestly guys, this bottle, first things first, it is so beautiful and has this wow moment when you unbox um, the fragrance and it also reminds me of my new perfume Iris Torifier that I purchased yesterday and to check out what I went through to get it um, please watch my video but in my opinion they are similar however Maison Violet really elevated the bottle and made it so beautiful with this gorgeous cap but we are here to talk about the fragrance which is so warm and rounded. It almost smells gourmand to me, which is interesting because there is a leather that is so soft and refined. It's definitely for those lovers of gourmand sweet perfumes who want something round um, and beautiful, almost edible with a chic leather that has nothing harsh to it. I love to wear it when it is cold once again because it is so warm. It's kind of like a scarf scent for me that is pretty strong. I gotta be honest with you, this fragrance has beautiful sillage and powderiness. So if you like powder, warmth, depth, uh, roundness and chic quality in your perfumes, this is something you can wear on the everyday basis. It's very friendly and it is very, very attractive because it projects really well and people always notice it and because it is so comforting, they like it. And honestly, guys, if you like honey tobacco element in your perfumes and you want it to be chic and perfect for upcoming winter, this is something I recommend you, particularly if you are into classy perfumes that smell modern. Check out Maison Violet's fragrances and use my coupon code YANA with which you can get 10% off. How cool is that? With that being said, let me tell you about probably the most avant-garde, unique leather I know, which is Slow Explosions by Imaginary Authors Perfume that has been with me for a long, long time. And it is cool, you guys. I won't lie, I don't wear it very often, but Benny does. And it is definitely a bombastic fragrance. It's bold and it is just a little bit harsh. I honestly don't know where to spray it, maybe here on the inside and yes, it, it's almost like a cool bloody leather fragrance. There is a note of saffron and maybe I get the blood um, impression because of its uh, metallic uh, undertone. However, there is also a note of green apple that brings in freshness and rose. So it's rose, apple, saffron and leather. Very fun, very cool, very strong. If you're going out and you want something that will last, I recommend you this one. Although, once again, I don't wear it very often myself just because it is a little bit too challenging. However, something else with leather from the same brand is the Copra and the Canary. And this is one of my most worn leathery perfumes. I totally, totally love it for the atmospheric feel because it always makes me have this... Uh, 
feeling that I am driving in a vintage car with leather seats having windows down and there is a hay field on my right and left side and it's sunset, just romantic, beautiful atmosphere. Very wearable perfume with a powdery, beautiful leather. It's way more elegant, way more, um, you know, easygoing than Slow Explosion, so I love both, but the second one is my personal favorite and I highly recommend it for those who are looking for something creative and atmospheric. Woo! It's getting hot in here, so let me take my coat on, and yes, I create a beautiful leather look, but let's talk about very hot leathery fragrance. And if you like sweet smoke in your perfume, then you absolutely need to check out Patchouli Koja by Nishani because this is such a potent fragrance that smells like honeyed smoke, not a churchy one. With leather and patchouli, this fragrance is not a joke. I don't know where to apply it, maybe just down there. Oh, great! I sprayed on my top, which will mean it will stay on forever. And I don't think it's good to apply perfumes on something leathery, but we'll see how will that work. I want to tell you, this is a necessity for very cold time of the year, because it is so warm, it's hot and sweet. And if you love honey, honey get it. The thing is, you guys, don't overdo it, otherwise it will be overwhelming. It is super strong, extrait de parfum, a little bit goes a long way, and yes, amazing, sweet, um, uh, beautiful, kind of like um, ambery smoke, leather and patchouli. All that oriental lovers dream about. Good! Speaking of uh, intense leathery fragrances, I have one here that is not a joke, that is so intense, you, you, you will go nuts when you smell it, and I'm talking about club design that was created by master perfumer Christophe Vladimir for his brand The Zoo and won Art and Faction Awards. And I gotta be honest with you, this is leather for those who can't get enough of it and want more, more and more. You will get it from here. Wow, this is so smoky, this is so leathery, this is so powerful. Honestly, even if you wash your clothes and yourself two times, you'll be able to smell it um, despite that. <laughs> and for me, sometimes it's just enough to sniff on the bottle and I'm good, but honestly, um, it's an award-winning perfume and it's for those who are obsessed with leather and is looking for the ultimate one that will stay on no matter what. And speaking of Christian Ladumier, his work and awards, uh, let me introduce uh, you to Rich Mass by Ryan Richmond, which is another Art and Faction Award winner, perfume created by Christophe Ladumier. Surprise! And when I first smelled it, I was like, are you even kidding me? Because I was familiar with uh, club design back then, I was like, it's 80% same, and uh, the thing that makes it different from club design is very unexpected note of fig, which, you know, is green and creamy and fruity, and with leather, it's surprisingly interesting combination. It's still full-on leathery perfume, but it's not messy. It's like so much more wearable and so much more enjoyable for me personally. So I love it. I highly recommend it to those who like really dark and deep and very full-on leathery perfumes. And if you like thick too, gosh, this, um, yeah, I'm very confident about uh, this one. Recommending it to all who like very niche smelling perfumes. You know, fragrances that you definitely realize are niche from the first with. Alrighty guys, so right now some of you might be wondering where is one of the most popular leathery perfumes of all times, which is important to mention uh, when talking about leather. And of course, of course, some of you might uh, already guess that I'm talking about Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather, one of the most hyped fragrances of all times. 
but I gotta be honest with you and some of you might hate me for that but me telling you my honest opinion give me thumbs up uh, Tuscan leather is not my thing particularly because of its opening that is so harsh I can't stand it of course in the dry down it's lovely but to pass through the dry down I mean like I prefer something that would be enjoyable right away and since it's such a popular fragrance many different brands created their versions of uh, Tuscan leather putting accents on other elements and one of such that I personally love is Widian's London. First of all, the bottle is just a masterpiece and second of all, this is such a likable fragrance that is still about oud, raspberry and leather. It is warm and oriental but raspberry in here is so much more pronounced and it has no harshness that Tuscan leather has and I just really really enjoy it and find it surprisingly wearable day and night summer and winter which makes it very versatile and i highly recommend it to all who can find their piece with tuscan leather but want something similar to it with this mass appealing effect definitely check it out but in case you are a fan of tuscan leather let me know that and if not maybe you have some other recommendations i would like to know about them all right, let me tell you about perfume that I received as a very generous gift I'm obsessed with. I could make my signature one, but I'm afraid to run out of it because I heard that this stunning tea collection by Jumalon is getting discontinued and the gold needle tea is just such a comforting, cozy and at the same time elegant scent that is not necessarily leather leather so it's a very appropriate for those who are not comfortable with this note but wanted to be in the perfume but not like uh, the main uh, you know star of the composition it's like a delicious cup of tea with woodsiness and spiciness and leather element and also a fruity touch I love it so much and unfortunately it didn't work out for my subscriber but I was lucky to get it and I'm so obsessed with it just to wear it to work or anytime I need to feel better it always does it for me so I'm very upset that this gorgeous collection of tea and you know I love tea to drink and to smell is getting discontinued I have two other fragrances I miss a couple of others so grab it grab it as long as you can because it's so good Ooh, no, 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 no! I'm excited because I'll share with you a skanky leather and I love skanky perfumes so much. I love animalic scent and skanky fragrances, they can be tricky because to do them right is pretty hard but if they are done correctly, oh my gosh, they're so sexy! And uh, this is the brand we've already spoken about today, Sarah Baker, but this is from her new collection called S Baker, which has a lighter concentration, it is more affordable and fragrances are so good, I want all of them but Bascule, I was waiting for it such a long time. You've probably noticed that um, the packaging is different, this is more modern, but I, I love that there is still the signature and the link between them. And it was inspired by this princess who is also gorgeous and rides horses professionally. And you spray it on and it's literally a beautiful summery day on a meadow and you are on your way to the steel and you're getting closer and you get the scent of the horse and then you get on, you're wearing leather outfit and all the equipment and you're just riding and there is, uh, you know, this grass underneath horses feet and it's just so good with peach and fruity uh, mesmerizing milkiness. Honestly, you see how excited I am. Get it, please get it, please just bring in joy and excitement into your day. It's so good. Like, honestly, I could rave and rave and rave about it, but it's better just to check it out, to understand what I mean. It's just such an unusual perfume that's milky and green and fruity and skanky and at the same time so wearable and people always oh, notice it and ask me about it. So it is quite mass appealing in this unique way and I love it, men, women check it out be more open for something new and unusual gosh this is such a pleasure to wear it let's mention my new signature scent that i discovered for myself this year because it's one of the newest releases from quinto counter range that is called isota and in the opening it smells sort of like um tender 
tea rose that is growing on the bush and you've been observing it for a couple of days and then you picked it up, put in a vase and one night you're getting ready for a special occasion, being all dressed up and you smell the rose and now it has so much more depth. This is kind of how it smells in the opening, the citruses and very tea-like rose that later turns into beautiful powdery rose and leather in there, so soft, so elegant, so uh, gentle. So highly recommended for all who love such luxurious Italian fragrances. This is my new signature one, one of the strongest and most beautiful fragrances that is just truly beautiful. Another masterpiece and uh, I find it more wearable than Mandragola. So you guys, um, you know what you need to do. Check it out. It's very good. I would say unisex. Yeah, probably unisex. And wearable. I mean, like, uh, I wear it on special occasions, but uh, it's nothing too crazy for the everyday basis. Good, but if you're just a leather beginner, I would recommend you a very well-known best-selling fragrance from my favorite brand Guerlain that is called Shalimar and I have eau de toilette here that starts off with this beautiful citrusy fragrance with bergamot being their leader but soon the vanilla comes through the powderiness that is uh, signature for Guerlain and a lather in the background that supports everything that brings in depth and uh, just like this oriental vibe without making this fragrance too heavy and too animalic. It's powdery, it's slightly sweet, with beautiful citruses that stand there for the freshness. Check it out if you are kind of getting into the leathery theme, but you want something understandable, something enjoyable, something that people and to you can enjoy. Yeah, Shalimar is always going to be my favorite and uh, I find it's something that also brings in this inner satisfaction. If you like powdery, if you like Guerlain, then check out Charlie Mar. But if you know that you love leather and you want a lot of it and you want it to be dark and delicious, I recommend you Strangers Perfumery because Prinlam Rose, who I interviewed and with whom I hope we are friends, is uh, very good at leathery fragrances. And I have two of them to share with you. They are from the LGBTIQ series that I was obsessed with when it was first released, particularly because the movie is amazing that it is based on and uh, St. Clement and Burning Band are two perfumes that are very similar and it's often the case with self-taught perfumers that a lot of their fragrances are alike and I mean that in a nice way because I really enjoy their work but it's just like you can tell their signature which is in both of these perfumes they have similar notes and I want to start with St. Clement that um, has red wine, cherry, tobacco, apricot, leather, fire, note, frankincense, espresso, oak musk and pomegranate because it basically smells like this beautiful dark true leather with red wine, pomegranate, cherry and apricot mixed into the red wine and espresso. So if you like coffee and you like leather, this is something you need to check out. Burning Band is very similar, but it has note of hazelnut, castorium plum, hay, espresso once again, leather of course, and dark chocolate. And believe me, this is kind of like a chocolate bomb that is so dark, it's not sweet, it's almost bitter. And if you want uh, a baby of these two, that's his SM Cafe. Very, very sexy, provoking leather, coffee and chocolate. Check out my review. And if you like such dark perfumes, Prin is definitely your guy. And now the time has come to share with you my fragrance obsession at the moment. I'm going crazy about not only when it comes to leather, but just in general. And that is Eau Scandalous by Anatole Labreton, which is such a well done perfume. This is honestly something I wear every day, something that I can't get over, something that I mentioned in the video about Mitsoko-like fragrances that smell like that vintage classic but um, is modern and this is honestly guys it couldn't get better. There is not even a thing I would change about this perfect leather with um, dirty tuberose, with the note of peach skin, with um, something green and something that also reminds me of uh, these dark blackberries that grew in Ukraine and don't do that in Germany. It's just mouth-watering, delicious obsession for those who are looking for a very classy, for just like ultimate beauty in a bottle, I, I, 
I, I wear it and every time I wear it I discover something new about it. It has awesome sillage, it makes me feel so good. It is about leather but not only. Very complex, beautiful composition and the only right thing to do guys is to order a sample or a sample pack of Anatolis fragrances because all of them are very very interesting and very very worth it to be checked out. Ah. Oh. Good, so good. But I also have a very few recommendation for those guys who are looking for a classic leathery fragrance in which leather wouldn't be disturbed by any other note, and that is Cui Internal by Le Manufacture Paris. This is rather a simplistic leathery fragrance and to me more masculine than the unisex because it's quite woody and cedar wood and almost vetiver they just support and accentuate this leather that can be worn literally to work on the everyday basis it's fresh it's woody it's simple but you know it's classy so if you're looking for something like that and you don't want leather to be too complex you want it to be just leathery with this beautiful nutty feel i really recommend you this one because the performance of it is exceptional now the time has come to talk about a fun leather fragrance under the name cocaine and who do you think could call their fragrance like this. Of course, worldwide known band Rammstein, which is in my top three favorite rock bands of all times, with which my rock obsession started at um, age of 13. And when I heard that they released a perfume, I really wanted to smell it. And I was really pleased uh, with uh, the Oh yes, actual fragrance, which is not commercial, which is fun and very different like they are and uh, it is very strong, it smells of gasoline, who remembers their song benzene, and fruits and leather and it is just like smoky and sweet and fruity and it's just like so wow, what? Like Rammstein, you just look at them and like when I saw Zone, my life was changed forever and I'm very grateful for that. So it's a cool perfume to wear maybe to a concert crowded place um and benny wears it and i do like it on him so check it out it's affordable it's fun it's cool and if you pay attention you can always pick up an iris powder in the background which makes it for me very very exciting so guys getting ready for this video browsing through my collection looking for leathery perfumes in there i sort of uh, rediscovered for myself perfume into the creation of which I was involved because I had this idea to create a beautiful holiday fragrance that would smell like cakes and fun time and uh, it's captured in Advent by the Russian indie house Eskis Parfum because in the opening there is this fun element of candied citruses that are very very joyful and um, holiday-like. It's Christmas in a bottle basically but it develops and turns more posh because there is cacao, there is rum, of course there is lather which comes through in the dry down and it goes through different stages so it is a lot of fun to wear it and it just creates this positive atmosphere with a lot of patchouli and other gorgeous notes even a powdery almond it has so much to offer it's a gourmand yeah I am very satisfied with my blind buy and last perfume I will mention is an exceptional one because it's not a full-size bottle of perfume and usually in my best of episodes I only mention such fragrances but I decided to do an exception for the Black Knight by Francesca Bianchi because I really like her fragrances and this is another example of that indie brand which fragrances are very similar and I mean that in a nice way. All of her fragrances are very interesting and potent. The Black Knight is absolutely mind-blowing but not as brutal as some other her perfumes which all have leather in them at some point and her fragrance under my skin is just like so so whoa you know but Black Knight is not like that although it's about the sticky leather sexiness and depth and just like provocation and all beautiful great uh, things that Francesca Bianchi stands for 
I get massive childhood vibes because I used to chew on pink delicious mouth-watering bubble gums that were so tasteful for a couple of minutes and then the taste was gone and you were addicted to more and I smell bubble gum in here with leather so it's like a treat for my inner child and I just love it it's just such a beautiful 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 perfume and uh, yeah it's for adults who want to have fun and uh, I got it from Equation Naturale niche boutique where you can shop niche and indie perfumes and if you want to save some money please use my discount for 5% off and uh, with that being said yeah I gotta be honest with you it's a full-size bottle worthy for me and hopefully one day I will be able to get it all right guys that completed this video in which I hope you learn about great fragrances such as smoky leather oriental leather, spicy leather, vintage leather, modern leather, warm leather, cold leather, tea leather, rose leather and so many other leathery fragrances of course since it is a very popular note in the perfumery and there are so many leathery fragrances I couldn't cover all of them that's why I would like to know what's your favorite one and which was the most interesting you'll learn about today I'm always glad to hear from you and happy to chat with you if you have any questions left I'm here to answer them so let's do that check out the description box follow me on my social media and although I've already planned three next best of episodes I would like to know which is the note you want me to discuss in the future and on that uh, note thank you so much for watching this one please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and please stay tuned and smell good we'll see each other in the next one bye guys